I'm so excited to be back. Now today, Miss Yang wants to show you a really cool art activity that's one of Miss Yang's favorites. Now this art activity, it's going to be using paints, but we're not gonna be using paint brushes and we're not gonna be using our hands, but we're going to be using a straw. That's right, we are going to make some blow art monsters. So I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need and how we're gonna do it. Let's go. So the first thing that you're going to need is some paints. We've got some blue paint and some orange paint and also some green paint that we're gonna use. And then you're going to need a little bit of water. You'll need a straw and a paper that you can uh, put the paints on and then also some pipettes or you can use a spoon if you don't have them. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna first put a little bit of water into each of the paints. You just wanna make sure that it's not uh, too thick so that when it's on the paper, you can actually blow it with the straw. And then you're gonna use either your pipette or your spoon and you're gonna mix it. and you're gonna drop some on the paper or you can use your spoon to do the same you're just gonna drop them in little spots all over the paper you can either do it one at a time or you can do lots of uh, spots at a time and then you're gonna take your straw and you're gonna blow it in all different directions now this is going to make very interesting shapes and it can be the monsters arms or legs it is up to you and you can choose what you want the monster to look like so Miss Yang has also rotated the paper or flipped the paper so that I can blow in, the in another way. All done. Now to decorate it, we're going to use some googly eyes, some colored markers, or you can just use a black marker. So Miss Yang had mixed some glue in with the paint, so Miss Yang is just going to put the googly eyes right onto the paint. You can also do this after it dries with the glue. Some googly eyes on the monsters and then I'm gonna for some of the other monsters I'm gonna use some colored markers and I'm gonna draw some faces for them now for this part you want to make sure that all the paint is dry before you draw it on because if you uh, draw it on while it's wet it might not go on the paper Hi my friends, that was a super cool activity. I hope you enjoyed making it. Miss Yang had so much fun making my blow art monsters and here they are. Some of them have one eye, some of them have two eyes and they have different expressions. And my friends, you can decorate your blow art monsters however you want. You can use glitter, you can use stickers to decorate them, you can use beads, everything that you want to use. So my friends, I can't wait to see them and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.